Come on guys, welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we're back with another Honest Trailer reaction to Superman The Quest for Peace. Arguably the greatest Superman movie of all time. It has the, uh, arguably the best villain of all time with Nuclear Man. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one that fans talk about. Uh, you know, every time you bring up a Superman conversation and the first thing you, you, you say is, man, Superman 4, what a masterpiece that thing was. So we're going to watch uh, this Honest Trailer reaction to it and uh, see how they, they they treat this masterpiece because, you know, anything they can say, um, you know, ain't going to change my mind about it. But uh, let's get into it. Uh, by the way, you guys know that was a joke um, at the beginning, but let's get into the trailer. Do Superman 4. That would be hilarious. The honest trailer vault. From the production company behind Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo, comes a Superman movie so bad, it'll likely kill the entire franchise for 19 years. Yeah, they did. Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. God, Nuclear Man is the best. Reeve is back for one last paycheck <laughs> as Superman in one of the corniest movies of the decade. Which is saying a lot, since this is the 80s. Yeah, right. The game is making money. Watch as this mild-mannered dork turns into this mild-mannered dork. I'd like all the people back there to know that our subway system is still the safest and most reliable means of public transportation. We call in yep. horror at the return of mentally unstable actress Margot Gitter. Superman! As she struggles to play Lois Lane. But he's doing his best to make sure that it'll be alright for the rest of yep. And Gene Hackman returning as Lex Luthor. Again. An evil genius who can't pronounce the word nuclear. Nuclear power. Nuclear strategist. Nuclear Nuclear, power. nuclear. Nuclear warhead. Nuclear. Nuclear mod. The peace begins when this dumb overdubbed kid. Yeah. I tell you, I'd write a letter to that would do some good. Oh, Santa Claus. I thought that the no, voicing sounded a little weird. Killed Superman into collecting all of the world's nuclear weapons. They put us in a giant stuff into this big net and, and toss it to the sun. sun. Which somehow the UN is totally cool with. Ew. Confused? Just wait. We're only getting started. Watch his legs and Ducky. Somehow made up. Easily cut Superman's hair. indestructible hair, strap it onto a missile, and launch it into the sun to inexplicably create nuclear man. Destroy Superman now. Behold the super side of two grown men in spandex going toe to toe in some of the most poorly executed sissy fights ever put to celluloid. <laughs> wow, this is bad. This is really bad. That. The heck was that? They, they use the same flying shot as Superman like eight times. Maybe more than that. Nails? Really? Come on. I know, right? Superman, do something. The nails is what gets him. That looks terrible. He scratched, scratched his back, guys. He's holding the Statue of Liberty. That made no sense. Oh, are we sure we want to release this thing? Marvel, let Superman's power no, someone did. you know and love. And stare in wide-eyed disbelief at these new completely made-up powers. I know, like him rebuilding the Wall of China? Like, doesn't make any sense. Eyes, lowering people with his mind. And helping this woman breathe in outer space. In outer space. So you got this year's predator and space. How does she breathe? I don't understand. And we've got the summer film for you, filled with terrible blue screen, God, miniatures, ridiculous oversized props, yep. really, really terrible blue screen, yep. and the same flying yep. shots used over yep. and over yep. and over yep. and over again. Yep. In the subway. Seriously, yep. these are all the same shot. You couldn't do one more take. That's. That's lazy, you guys. This the entire time. Starring Captain America, Hat Man, Thank Desperately you. Seeking Superman, Charlie Sheen, Betty <laughs> Ford, That's right. and Dolph Lundgren, you know Superman IV, The Quest for Peace. Man, this movie's bad. At least it's not Marvel, right? Those guys will never figure out how to make movies. That's yeah, Iron Man from 70s. Hey. I've never seen it, though. An honest trailer t-shirt? No? Well, have you ever changed it? 2013. And still was made back in the day. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I actually heard something, and this is crazy. I heard about a like an hour and a half cut. Uh that was an hour and a half was cut from I believe the Superman Quest for Peace. That would have more. You know, of course add more to it, duh. But 
There, I mean, I've been hearing, watching some videos about having like a possible another nuclear man joining in the movie, like a second one that died and this other one comes out. Um, I mean, this movie was really short too. It was an hour and a half. It just sucks that the company just, they wanted to do another movie, but they didn't care what it was. They didn't even use a character, a real character. They just made up a guy, a nuclear man. Like, I know he's like the greatest, but come on, man. Like, there's so many comics, Superman, one of the best comics ever, and there's so many villains out there, you, you know, to choose from and you just, you know, pick up a random guy and then you have the, the you know, I know it's like back in the day, but still like the freaking shots like you literally have him using the same flying technique over and over can't even like have one hand you know or the other hand or just him flying like this like it's always the you know like that like you i don't know why you could change that like come on now um but yeah like i don't know it sits whatever you know and it did kill the franchise for a very long time till you know superman returns came out and then you got that you know that didn't really do too good for people, and then they made Man of Steel and you know kind of changed it up a little bit with what he had, and then of course Man of Steel, some people didn't like that, so you know it's just it's whatever. But yeah, Superman Quest for Peace is uh, could go down as one of the worst movies, but it's you know it's bad, but it's good. You know it's so bad it's good, and uh, if you're just looking for a laugh or in something and don't want to take anything serious, just watch Superman Four. You know, and if we could one day get the extended cut of Superman Quest for Peace, I'd be down with that. I'd like to see uh, if they ever had it or not. I would love to see um, just more of it. Just so, but maybe it can make more sense. I have no idea. What do you guys think of Superman Quest for Peace? Put down below. I, you know, if I had to rank them, which I might do a ranking video one of these days. You know, I did a ranking of the Karate Kid movies and stuff like that. And I kind of want to do some ranking videos of stuff but I'll you know I'll say it for later I'll say it for later I won't give my Superman like trilogy or I should say the four movies I guess it'll be five you can add I can add returns into that uh you know Superman one two three four uh Chris Reeves because it's supposed to be the you know the the same character just a couple years later so I'll save that off for uh, another video of my rankings and stuff on Superman but if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to it if you haven't already for more honest trailer reactions in the future I do like I said I want to get to the Batman you know I want to do a couple more of these because they're just fun. Uh, so, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.